He's used to getting a at Elm Park, but his latest signing was also in for a tough time. Michael Jilk spent 13 years with Reading. This was his first trip back in a different shirt. After a slow first half, it was Reading who dominated the opening minutes of the second. Darren Caskey missing the first opportunity. Royals were without two of their strikers, so both Reading managers started and revived their playing partnership, although Jimmy Quinn should have salvaged something from this chance. With Wolves gunning for promotion and Reading's pride at stake, it was always going to be a physical match. When Mick Gooding brought down Michael Jilks, Wolves demanded he go. The referee didn't agree. Then, in the 75th minute, the visitors took the lead. Darren Ferguson's corner was nodded in by Mark Atkins, delighting the fans and firing up the manager. But Jilks had to be stretched off after suffering several hard tackles. By now, Wolves thought they'd finally avenge their defeat by Reading back in October, but Stuart Lovell had other ideas. In the 90th minute, he volleyed in the equaliser and then achieved hero status, scoring the winner in injury time. Final score, Reading 2, Wolves 1. I was just waiting for a chance that would give me a run in the side, so hopefully if I can stay in the last few games of the season, get a few more goals, that will help for next season. You and Michael Jilks had a bit of a clash. What happened? Um, well, I've always been a little bit quicker than Michael. Um, I basically, I, I, I've missed time to chat. I thought I got the ball. Uh, obviously, I, I've taken Michael out of the game. I, I apologise to him afterwards. It wasn't anything malicious. It's just uh, it was a desperate tackle to get the ball because if I hadn't have got the ball, he'd have, he'd have been uh, long gone.